In this video, we're going to be looking at publishing an ASP.NET Core application from Visual Studio up to your Xpeed web hosting using one of two methods. The first being FTP, the second being publishing directly from Visual Studio. If we go into Visual Studio and run our demonstration web application, you can see that it's just a basic template from Visual Studio. So if we close this down, flick back to our Visual Studio, stop the site. Now if we come up to the, to the project, right click, click on publish. Now the first way we're going to publish is to a local folder. So if we click on folder, we can just accept the default, which will put the files to publish under the application folder. Click on create profile. We can check that we want to delete the existing files and the configuration is released. So that's what we want. Hit publish. And if we look down in the output folder, we can see that it's building and publishing and it's been published to our folder. If you hold down control and click on the link, Windows Explorer will open up to that folder. Now these are the files that need to be copied up to the web application, up to the web server, so the site will display. So if we jump over to FileZilla, we've connected to our demodomain.com.au with FTP, and in the root of our FTP login, we'll see our domain. We can double click on that and we'll see a www root folder. We can click on that and this shows the contents of the existing website, which is this landing page. So what we can do is we can delete these two files, selecting them and click on delete, say yes. Now we can go to our core demo URL, bin, release, net core app, publish, and you'll see this is the path where our application was released. So we can select all these files and the www root folder. Now you will have a www root folder within the base www root folder, but that's okay. That's the way the application is structured. So if we upload the site, only takes a few seconds. We can then switch back to our browser, refresh the application or refresh the website and we can see our .NET Core application. Now the second way that we can provision this is if we go back into our FTP and we delete these files. Okay, and we go back to Visual Studio and we can delete this published profile. Now we can create a published profile which deploys directly to the web application, but before we can do that, we have to get our configuration set up. So if we go into the solid CP control panel for your site, go to the websites icon, click on our website, then click on the web publishing tab. We can then give our web deploy area a password Click on Enable, and we can now download a publishing profile for this website. So we'll save that. Now if we go back to Visual Studio, we can click on Start under Publish, and we can import a profile, and then go to our Downloads, import our published profile, click on Cancel and we can then hit publish. This then publishes the web application directly to the web server and once it's complete it will open the browser and show us our site. So once again we can see on demodomain.com.au we've got our .NET Core application. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one. Thank you.